Hey guys, today we're talking availability. The word for today is available. And my question to you today is how available are you to the utterance of the Holy Spirit? How available are you to be used by God? In Isaiah chapter 6 verses 5 through 8, particularly 5, particularly verse 8, we hear, we hear Isaiah say to the Lord, here am I sent me. And this was after his encounter with the Lord. And it got me to thinking, how much of us is willing to say, here am I, send me. Isaiah didn't understand the full scope of what he was saying yes to, but he gave God his unconditional yes anyway. And so I wanna encourage us today, you and me and everybody who's listened to this broadcast, is your yes an unconditional yes, or is it a conditional yes to the obedience of the Holy Spirit, to what God has called you to do? Does your yes entail, if I have the time, if it doesn't clash with my schedule, you say yes to God with your lips, but not in your actions? We need to, our yes needs to be the yes as Isaiah's at yes. We have seen in the Bible where God takes ordinary people, and uses them to do extraordinary things because of their unconditional yes. Saying to the Lord, here I am, Lord. I am available to you to go wherever, do whatever, go whenever, do whatever you ask of me. And that's the thing. When we say yes to the Lord, we understand that we say yes to the purpose for our lives. You see, when God's purpose becomes our purpose, then you are operating in the fullness of your godly potential. And that what's an unconditional yes says to the Lord. Here I am, use me. My purpose is your purpose for my life. And so we have to be careful that our purpose lines up with what God's purpose for us. So in this season, in this season, as we pray for these 21 days, may your prayer today be, Lord, I am available to you. Your purpose is my purpose. I'm here to do whatever you want me to do without conditions. I am totally and wholly available to you. So today, in this season, Let's pray that we are available to God. And I just want to say before I go that, you know, we really need to depend on the Holy Spirit. Because how many times have we said that we're available and then something comes up? As I said before, when His purpose becomes our purpose, then we are operating in the fullness of our godly potential. And the enemy doesn't want that. So we have to depend on the Holy Spirit to help us with that. So as we pray for our availability and that our yes would be an unconditional yes for God to use, use us in the fullness of His potential, let us ask the Holy Spirit to help us with that. Heavenly Father, we come before you this evening to just give you honor and give you praise. And Lord, to step before you and to say yes to your will and to your way, but we understand that sheer will will not do it. And so that we need the guidance of your Holy Spirit to walk us through our yes, hold us accountable to our yes, and to make us wholly available in every aspect of our lives for you to use us as you see fit. Amen. Amen.